let's see what sort of symmetry would this animal show. Well, you, you know very well, this is a starfish. Now, this shows radial symmetry, meaning that the animal can be divided in two equal halves when cut all along the radius. All along the radius, if I cut it into two equal halves, this is a kind of uh, symmetry, what I should call radial symmetry. At the same very time, let's see if we can give another cut to it. Yes, we can. From here, the both sides seems to be equal. And therefore, this is a radial symmetry. Of course, the radial symmetry occurs when you are able to cut the animal at least twice across the radius. So, you can do it about five times here. So, no problem with it. And therefore, this animal exhibiting radial symmetry. Again, this particular animal is also going to show the same radial symmetry. You can cut it all along like this, maybe like this, maybe like this, and therefore more than twice. And you can't call this as spherical symmetry. Now the question is why? Why is that when I am cutting this all across the center once or twice or thrice I call this spherical but I don't call this one spherical I call it as radial symmetry simple reasons this animal cannot be can, or rather can be cut in this manner as well passing all along because it is just globular and all the structures are equivalent and equally placed whereas this has a mouth here uh, maybe and therefore if you cut it across like this you will have one side the mouth and another side no mouth and hence they will be asymmetrical so such kind of symmetry only in one plane is referred to as radial symmetry and not spherical symmetry.